Hi second graders, welcome back to Phonics. This week we are learning something new called homophones. Homophones are two words that sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So this is a pair of words, again, that when you hear them, they sound the same, but they're actually two different words that have different letters and have different meanings. So today we are going to be talking about some different pairs of homophones that you might see in your reading and how to decide which word has which meaning and how to spell each word. We know there are so many different ways to spell words. We've learned about so many vowel teams and the magic E and how sometimes letters make more than one sound when they're in different combinations. So we're gonna be thinking about that today. Our first pair of homophones is heel. Heel. There are two different ways to spell the word heel because there are two different words that sound like heel that have different meanings. The first heel is what you do when you're sick. When you are sick, you need to heal. Let's tap out heel. <sighs> Eel. Heal. To heal, you might take medicine, you might rest, you might sleep a lot, drink a lot of water. Heal, like when you're getting better from something, is spelled with the vowel team E-A. But there is another way to spell heal that means something different. So this way to spell eel with the vowel team E-E -E is the bottom of your foot. So part of your foot is called your heel. Let's tap this one out. Eel, heel. So we tap both words the same way. They both sound the same. They both sound like heel but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So one is spelled with the vowel team E-A, and that means to get better from being sick. The other one is spelled with the vowel team E-E, -E, and that means the bottom of your foot, part of your foot is called your heel. So when you are spelling this word and listening to it in a sentence, you need to think about the sentence and think about which heel you need to use when you're spelling. Are they talking about getting better from being sick or are you talking about part of your foot? Here is your next pair of homophones. Tail. There are two ways to spell tail and there are two different types of tail. The first tail is like a fairy tail. Let's tap this out. T-A-L. Tail. This tail has the magic E. The E makes the A say a long A sound. And this tale is like a fairy tale. It's a story. Tale with the magic E means a story. But there's another way to spell tale. Let's tap this out. T ale, tale. So we tap it the same way. This tale has the AI vowel team. And this tale is like the tale of a fish or a mermaid or a, a cat or a dog that has a tail. So there are two ways to spell tail. There are two different words that make the same sound, tail, two different ways to spell, two different meanings. Fairy tale, tail on a fish or a mermaid or a pet. Let's practice spelling some other pairs of homophones. Our first one that we're gonna spell is Plain, plain. Hmm. So there are two ways to spell plain because there are two words that sound like plain. So we have a plane that flies, but then we also have the word plain that means undecorated or like a plain piece of paper. It's just blank. So let's try to spell the, the vehicle first. So plain, something that flies in the sky. Let's tap. P plain, plain. Okay, I hear the P L at the beginning. P L A N. Hmm. Well, I know that a long A can either be spelled with a vowel team, A I or A Y, or it could be spelled with a magic E. I think when I've seen the word plane before, like what you fly in, I've seen it with a magic E. So let me try that and see if that looks right. Does that look right? Magic E. It does. Ain. The E makes the A say its name. 
And this type of plane is what you fly in if you're going on a trip or going somewhere else. If we are talking about a plain piece of paper or a plain bagel, that's spelled a little bit differently. Let's tap again. Plain, plain. Hmm. I hear the same beginning. Now, let me think. I'm gonna try a vowel team, A-I or A-Y. Let me try A-I and see if it looks right. Plain, what do you think? Looks right to me. Looks like I'm ordering a plain bagel with nothing on it. No seeds, no butter, no cream cheese, no nothing. A plain bagel is spelled with the vowel team A-I. So two ways to spell plain, two different types of planes here. We have a plane that flies and the way to describe something that has nothing on it and is blank. Plain, homophones. Okay, let's try one more. Our next homophone pair is here here so there's two different types there's two different word meanings for here something that you listen to you would say i hear you here or you might say where are you and you say i'm right here to describe your spot where you are i'm here hmm two different ways to spell it let's tap let's tap the first the one where it's i hear you i'm listening <sighs> ear here okay i hear the h at the beginning for sure then i hear Ear. Well, I know that to hear, make the sound ee, -E, it could be a vowel team, ee, -E, e a, or e y, or it could be a magic e with a long e sound. Hmm. Let me think. Well, I know that when I'm hearing something, it's related to my ear, and I know that when I spell ear, it's with an e a. Let me see if that looks right. Here, I hear you. Does that look right? Can you hear me? There it is. Now, if I want to spell the here like, where are you? I'm sitting right here. I'm here in my kitchen. That's going to be spelled a different way. Let's tap again. <sighs> ear, here. So I could try a vowel team or I could try a magic E. I think when I've seen this word, I've seen it with a magic E. What do you think? Looks right to me. So here to describe where you are is spelled with a magic E. There is no vowel team in this word but we still hear that long E sound. So we have two ways to spell here. We have, I hear you, can you hear me? Or, where are you? I'm right here. Two words that sound the same, spelled differently and have different meanings. These are homophones. All right, friends, your job for today is going to be to look at different pairs of homophones and decide which word means which thing. So you're gonna match the meaning with the word because there's two ways to spell these homophones. It's one, one way to say the word, but two ways to spell. It's gonna be your job to try your best and decide. If you don't know, if you've never seen the words before, you can either ask a grown up or you can look it up online to see which way is correct. I hope you enjoy choosing the meaning for different homophones and I'll see you soon for more phonics. By second grade.